transcription in Teams. That's what this video is about. So first give me a like or a subscribe to this uh, channel. That would be great. But uh, let's go into the, to the details. Uh, in this case, I have already set up a Teams uh, calendar, as you can see here. And I will join uh, this meeting. Let me uh, quickly do this. And I turn off my audio because else it will not record correctly. So Paul is already in the meeting, so I will admit him and my device settings, I know they are not working. But as you can see, uh, Paul is already speaking and uh, his uh, video will come in as well. Uh, here we go. If we want to uh, set up uh, uh, the transcription, we can click on the three dots at the top and here we can uh, say start transcription. But one of the things that comes to mind is um, that it's default it's English. Now if you are in a different language then it can become handy uh, to change the language. How do you do that? You can do that by clicking on change a spoken language and here you can select out of a lot of languages. So for example we could choose Dutch or uh, German, uh, I guess German is in there, yes, or French. So this makes it way easier to uh, to view and to uh, have a transcription after your meeting. So after the meeting is done, we click on end meeting and what it will generate in the chat is a transcription uh, file. If we go to the transcript, we directly see our transcript, but uh, one thing that I think is really handy is that you can download it as a docx, so you can uh, edit it afterwards, or as a VTT, uh, so you can use it in a in a subtitle or anywhere. So this is really uh, great. Um, now I'm really curious. Did you know about this option and do you already uh, work with it? Uh, I would really s like to see uh, in a comment if you have a comment. And uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe this video and see you in another video next time.